Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with Drunken Us Paul. And I'm super excited to be here because we're going to do another Gamer Eats. Not only another Gamer Eats, but we got the Metal Jesus crew together at a beach house in Oregon. I get to make eats for the best gamers on the planet! Woo! So what goes into smart buns? Well, smart food, of course. So I went on the interwebs and I found a bunch of stuff that's brain food. So we're gonna start with salmon, of course. Pacific Northwest, salmon. We eat so much salmon here that if we move away to another city, we're compelled to come back every four years. Weird, but true. It's a widely believed fact. We start with the salmon, and now we're gonna go with some avocado, of course. That's brother brain food. On top of that, I'm gonna make a pesto. I'm gonna make a pesto out of Kale, broccoli, garlic, pistachios, and walnuts. Look it up, all good for the, the thinky bubble in your brain. Put all that together, put it in a lovely eight grain organic bun, and you've got a smart bun. Right, so we need to prep the salmon, we need to cut it thin so we can make medallions out of it. I'm sorry, did you say medallions? Oh! oh! Who got their coin? Uh-oh, who's, who's got, got their coin? coin? Oh, yeah. Who's out? Who's out? Two more. Two more. Coins. 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 Okay, we're gonna prep the salmon. So the salmon is a little bit thick. We have to cut that down. Good. And we're also gonna take the skin off. So once we have the uh, the fish cut down, we have to cut it into medallions the right size for our buns. Well, we're gonna use my, from my cake days. These ones had cake on them. We simply punch through and make awesome little medallions. We have our salmon cut into our medallions. Now we have to cut the buns to fit them. Whole grain buns, and I'm also gonna do some pretzel rolls because while these are super healthy, these taste way better. So here's how you do that. I use the same uh, cutters, put that right on top. You get the right size. Cut around. Why don't you just push them through like you did with the salmon? Some pressure is, yeah, mashing. Yeah. Seems like you're doing it wrong. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. DMP. Just push yeah. harder. Just question mm -hmm. harder. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. He, he, he doesn't push know. Push he doesn't know. That's okay. So. <laughs> and he knows how to use it. <laughs> well, I didn't realize I'd have YouTube commenters in the room with me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> live trolls. Yeah, live trolls. Live trolls. Yeah, live trolls. <laughs> Open. Cut, and then it fits in like a little bread bowl. Oh now we just have God. to slice up the avocado. Oh. Easy peasy. Do you have any avocados? I totally missed <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea to have these guys here? I don't know. <laughs> It's awesome. <laughs> oh! Pitiful. Oh. <laughs> I pitied the fool. Oh! oh. <laughs> like awesome. Is that avocado in my ear? Am I just happy to hear you? So the last thing to do is to make the pesto. And it's super easy. Break out your nuclear food processor. And we're going to put in one package of the Trader Joe's dried broccoli florets. Florets. Swing! Oh, <laughs> that squeak was awesome. Then one package of the uh, kale chips. Some pistachio nut meats. Now, I'm not measuring this, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Oh! Nut meat? <laughs> Do not include the little dry packet. Some walnuts, also brain food. One clove of garlic. This is virgin olive oil, which is why I have to take the top off. There we go. 
also to taste. Now there's a reason why I didn't put the nuts in first, uh, putting this all in at once, because I don't want to make nut butter. I want it to be chunky. Nut butter. Okay. There you go. Now this isn't gonna come out like, uh, like the regular pesto. It's gonna come out just a, a little grainier. I don't want it to be uh, super greasy. <laughs> okay, we have all the ingredients together. All we have to do is get the salmon in the pan. So now we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan and then warm that up on medium high for a couple minutes. Now we're gonna add some Old Bay seasoning to our salmon medallions that are sitting in a cookie sheet, as well as some onion powder. Now we're gonna add the salmon medallions to the warmed up oil, and we're gonna cook those for about two to three minutes each side. Mmm, salmon. Okay, we've got all the ingredients together. We got it all set up. Let's put everything together. Assembly of these is something that even I can do. So place one salmon medallion in a bun, and then top that with avocado with a little pinch of salt then put the pesto on top of that, and then place the bun lid on top. And then just repeat the process with all the remaining buns. And at this point, I wanna say that, you know, the buns themselves make quite a bit of difference in how this tastes. So experiment with the kind of buns that you like to eat with, and also keep in mind, you can actually use larger buns as well. So this could be a full meal if you wanted it to. All right, dude, I'm so glad that Gamer Eats is back. You and me both, buddy, and I made smart buns, stuff that's good for your brain, so I don't just make junk food. Get off my back. I'm getting my pants. All right, you guys wanna try, try it? it? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Woo! Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's really good. Yes, guys. Oh, mm. Very mm. good. Yeah. Yeah. These smart buns pass the test. Right. I'm gonna try the pretzel one here too. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, buns mm. here. Pretzel bun. Woo! All right. Woo! Cheers. Get your buns together. Cheers. Bun toast. Bun toast. Mm. Toast the buns. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks, everyone, for helping out with the Gamer Eats episode. Woo! All right. G Gamer Eats for awesome gamers. Um, um, um. Take care. Um, um, um. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this new Gamer Eats episode. This episode was crazy to edit because we typically don't do these with a large crowd like this, and people were talking and laughing over each other. It was such a blast. Everyone was in such a great mood when we shot this. So I'm actually gonna do a longer, more uncut version specifically for Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, you're gonna wanna definitely check that out. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care.